ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day three of Gold Championship Series. We're back in Shanghai with the decision in Group A. Focus, Infi, Romantic are remaining. And also, we have the two and two starting today, everybody. This is going to be so good. You see the dark portal here in the studio of Imba TV. And this is where they have to go through if they want to advance to the playoffs. Three players remaining, two will advance. Remo, your predictions. Oh, we're going there already. Well, Infi versus Focus. I saw on Read More actually that they're heavily leaning towards Focus and imagine this like a couple of months ago would have been unheard of. But recent results, not that impressive for Infi in this matchup. We actually also talked to him in Yinchuan and he is not feeling confident against Org anymore. He lost to Org Worker 2-0 and from what we've heard here from the Chinese community, kind of made a laughing stock of himself a little bit they were saying oh how could you ever lose to him they never heard of him never heard of his country belarus what's that is that like a province of russia or something <laughs> it's actually a real country in europe and yeah 2-0 dropping out against the big underdog back then uh, against org worker and today he's going up against focus now this used to be focus's weak matchup but that has changed changed like uh, 180 degrees yes. all the way around in NWL Season 2, he managed to defeat uh, Infi 2-0 and right after Yumiko 4-0. So Focus is in a roll lately against Human and Infi the exact opposite. So that should mean that one, a wise man, a betting man, might go for, uh, for Focus here. But I still think this is Infi. If he's in land setting, I will never want to underestimate him. But again, WCA, he didn't manage to get out of group stages. And usually he always performs, always impresses. Not so much this time. I'm pretty sure you're going to be going for focus here. I have him in my fantasy team, so definitely that's what I'm going to do. And I have faith in him, man. He put so much work into his uh, weak matchup, which was always against human. So it's finally time to overcome this after, I don't know, six years or whatever. Yeah. Happy, his manager in Europe, has been saying that to me for the longest time. He will change this. He will change the meta, and maybe with some help of Lin. He did. Tower Rush, no more. Wyverns to attack. Some small adjustments here and there, especially with the timings. And the Orcs reign over the humans now, I think. And it's mm. going to be pretty hard for Romantic and Infi to overcome this. Romantic is very confident. He, he, he says, uh, if I face focus, I will kill him easily. He didn't went to practice, apparently. Infi, we don't really know. We haven't talked to him um, today. Focus, of course... Tired as well. <laughs> yeah, we just spoke to him like 10 minutes ago and I asked him, are you sleepy? Yes, very sleepy yes. today. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if he sleeps too little or too much, seems to be always sleepy. And, well, we are apparently a little bit robot again. But this seems to be working itself out over time. Um, may It might be when we switch the audio thing. You know what I mean? From one to three. I don't know. We didn't change anything, so maybe it's a wire or something, or a cable, I'm not too sure. Okay, it should be <coughs> sound and lag. Huh. That's, of course, not so good. We see focus on stream. Maybe they uh, have an idea. Maybe this will fix over time, but we're not too sure. Focus, 27 years old. Of course, the orc player here is still wearing his uh, fancy jacket. Getting a bit better. Hmm. Maybe it was a little internet problem or something. All right. Yeah, usually he should be super confident. He should be filled with power. But he never shows that. Nope. Never shows that. I mean, the Koreans are pretty humble most of the time. But Focus, I've never seen him like getting very emotional, getting excited, pumping himself up or anything like that. He's just... Very reserved, very yeah. quiet, and oftentimes pretty sleepy. Infi, though, he looks pretty confident and not phased. At least, at least as it seems to me, when he's in-game, when he's about to play. In person, he seems to be a very friendly and open guy, at least to us. But when it comes to the game, he becomes the Iceman. Yeah, we have to talk about Infi, but he has uh, the hometown advantage. He's not in the hotel. He lives in Shanghai. Focus, of course, coming from Korea, uh, lives with us in the hotel. And this could be an advantage, man. He can practice at home if he wants to. He doesn't have to go to an internet cafe. He uh, is with his girlfriend, and I think uh, that's the perfect environment for him. 
Yeah. Focus, of course, has a lot of support from the other Koreans. Czech is here, Law Light is here, the manager Blue Tail is here from A1, and so in, of course. So maybe they could um, talk about the games together, prepare together, and Infi might be on his own, maybe with TH, of course, but yeah, it's two, two different preparations. Doesn't have a human to his side, though, Focus. Uh, of course, Korea always renowned for having very strong uh, contestants for every race. For every race, for human, not so much. There was reprisal a while ago, but he's not really any longer a part of the scene. But let's see. I'm really looking forward to this. Both players head into the winners' uh, match without a map loss. Both won 2-0. Seem to be outmatching their opponents, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And now the two juggernauts of Group A are battling it out on the first map, Amazonia. Okay, interesting. And here we go, everybody. Infi in blue, Focus in red, South Korea versus China once again. This is the winner bracket final of Group A. That means the winner of this best of three is going to go into the uh, playoffs. Of course, the top eight advance. <clears throat> and this is... Well, of course, we will be concluding in two weeks and the grand final on, uh, what's it called? Noya. N New Year's N Day? New Year's Day or something. It's not New Year's Eve, but New Year's Day, maybe. All right. And focus, of course, Altar of Storms, Barracks, and Burrow, maybe a one borrow attack again. Infi. On Amazonia, he was outclassed by Orc Worker. It was absolutely incredible how the Belarusian was prepared. Did focus see that? We don't know. Did, does Focus know how Infi plays? We, we do think so. He seems to be very predictable on this map because everybody knows what he's doing. So what are Focus's preparations? How can he uh, stop the tower rush that is coming? That's going to be the question here. Uh, we haven't uh, always... I have the sound, excuse me. Uh, hopefully the sound is too loud for you guys here. Ah, it's down. Should be fine. Um, yeah, Infi, as you said, pretty predictable, mostly going for the Tower Rush. And if you know it's coming, of course, you can prepare very well. Get an early War Mill, get a Kodo Beast, get Headhunters for piercing range damage. That makes it very hard for the Towers to come up. We've been seeing a lot of Merchant Creep first from the humans. This one right here takes a lot of Militia, though, so that delays your Tier 2. Of course, the advantage is after that your Archmage can run around the map and take little camps, and your Militia can take two camps, maybe even three, just by themselves. Of course, though, that can be disrupted by Blade Master and Grunts. So early game positioning is going to be crucial for Focus. Where does he have his Grunts? Are they in position to scout? Are they in position to harass creeping? Because if the Archmage has too, of a, too easy of a time getting to tier uh, to level 3, excuse me, it's going to be pretty tough probably for the Orc player. But um, yeah, he's not going for the Merchant now, deciding to go with the more... Uh, yeah, standard, more safe approach here of going for the laboratory first. Might mean that his level 3 is going to be harder to get, but also will mean that his tier 2 is not going to be as late. Exactly. Focus already with the first good item, that is the circlet of nobility. One burrow attack, as he most of the time does. And he has a very cool trick on this map, uh, uh, the trolls, but I don't think he's going to go there now. Okay, maybe he is. He lures one of the troll trappers away with a grunt and then he can creep the other two easily, but he refrains from doing so, wants to do some damage as the Archmage is level 2.3. Very bad items for him to start with the slipper and the uh, Ring of Protection, and there's the tier 2 attack. No expansion for Infi, no triple sanctuary, this is gonna be a tower rush or a uh, normal one base play with uh, maybe a tower supported push. Grunt is keeping tabs on the Archmage, he knows exactly what's going on. And, ooh, Blade Master is there to finish the Murdoch Knight. Crawler. This would be massive. Has a lot of duration left on the Windwalk, so that should be enough. Is Infi gonna try to bait the last hit here? The backstab damage? No! And that's an easy... Oh, well, he gets the Water Elemental as well. So much experience for Focus. Did he get it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm not sure. Oh. It's 92 from the first creep. It may, may have. I'm sorry. Uh, He's calling more militia, sure. Infi does. What is this? He wants to harass a bit with another Water Elemental. Or is he Getting something the the blocking the AM. Very well done. Very good block. He doesn't want to let him have the boots of speed. Blade Master's coming in, but he's not going to be in time. So the AM does get the boots. So he's going to be in less danger against the blade, of course. He can't look for a man fight. Just look at the two. This is an old man on a horse against a samurai. That doesn't seem like it's a very fair fight. 
<laughs> to that. 26 food for Focus. Uh, yeah. Infi finished the Murloc spot now, but he's still not level 3. 2.5. He has to do something, and all the creep spots that are remaining are pretty damn hard. So the Blade Master has four more heal selves and close to level 2. What are the preparations for the tower push? We don't see a war mill. We don't see a lumber mill either. So both players on a pretty normal one base play here so far. And Infi, ha uh, yeah, Infi has managed to evade focus for a little while here, taking the Cobalt in the middle. Oh, the Bash uh, the bash is coming in again. Oh, Stun Lord. Yeah, and this Footman will be the sacrifice. That should be... Oh, he's not chasing after Nice, it. focusing the creep. I, I think that's the best uh, idea. But where are the last hit skills of Infi? Oh, okay, no it. chance against Backstab. And it is the Replenishment Potion, which is very good. The if one you have grunt the time. might be in trouble, but the AM, if he decides to... Pursue this grunt and look for the kill. He's going to lose a lot of HP in the trade, and he doesn't want to do that. And yeah, the most important thing here for the orc is the blade, ma uh, the archmage is not level three, yeah. so everything's still good for him. There's not even man. Okay, now there's mana for a wattle mantle to arrest the tier two buildings, but I don't think he can do anything against this blade master with plus two, and still with one wind walk, maybe even two. If you calculate the mana regeneration in. Double Arcane Sanctum for info. You see a Mountain King, no Beastmaster shenanigans or Fire Lord or whatever. And the really good thing for the Korean Orc is how he interrupted Infi's creeping. That was very strong from almost minute three on when the heroes uh, popped out and he had finished his laboratory yeah. creep. And he barely invested any money, right? No boots of speed, no yeah. second circlet, and he still keeps the AM from level 3. Yeah. That is really well done. His grunt spread was very good. Maybe not the hardest here in Amazonia since it's a small map, but still, job well done. MK popping out of the altar might point... Oh, these footmen all pretty damn hurt. Is he gonna look for a kill here? He has a lot of mana for Windwalk. Doesn't look for one more footy pickoff, though. One of the grunts is getting low, but the SH is here, and the Hex should definitely be enough to save the grunt. Do we have a Wyvern for single harass? No, we don't. Not yet. We have raiders coming out, but already in the main of the human is a scout tower. Not upgraded yet. Also, no war mill to turn that into a guard tower. So, uh, yeah. No harassment coming, and no over-preparation. No too big of an investment being, yeah, going for by the human. Yeah, raider walker and very offensive uh, orc burrow for focus. So this can be easily cancelled if Infi is going for it, but I think he wants to creep now without level 3 he sees okay, in that state of the game, with the Shadow Hunter being out, there's no way I can fight this reveal being used, Blade Master is revealed, and the Shadow Hunter com comes in. Does Focus want to fight here? He only has to face Footman, but now the Militia is coming in. Oh, this could be bad, but okay, I think... He keeps the creep spot for himself and doesn't chase any further. And he could commits the militia here because he wants this camp. He needs this experience for the level 3 AM. Is he going to commit the bolt as well? No, he sees the blade master. He doesn't need it. Finding? Watch awards. Ah, oh, perfect. If he goes for a push, that item is going to be so valuable against the blade master. The SH starts creeping. His merchant might be getting jacked now, but of course the militia are gone. So he's only going to have to deal with footmen and a couple of casters. He wants to get the big one. Is there going to be a bolt flying the hex to prevent this? Well done by Focus. And he finds the Wands of Illusion might be put to good use later. But now the Grunt's taking a lot of damage. Speed scroll though, to save all of them. Bolt coming in, five seconds done, going for the Priest now with the first. And snares, easy pick off. But of course, trading that for a Grunt, probably better for the Human. Blade Master is starting to take some damage, but the Spirit Link here makes everything so tanky. And Infi has to retreat, has to get back. The one Raider being bolted, but it's not going to fall. Again, thanks to the Spirit Link, he's not being slowed. Not enough sorceresses here, it seems. A little bit of Miss Micro, perhaps, running in so far with the Raiders. And the Militia are now finally coming back. And there's no speed score anymore. Focus might be overextending. Yeah. He's going to kill this one priest, I guess. But the Blade Master, Invul, is being used. Level 2 for the SH. That is crucial. Heal Wave should be coming within a couple of seconds. There we go. Healing everything back up again, but as I said, no speed scroll. One grunt will most certainly be falling, and maybe even more. Spirit Link not on everything either. Do we have mana on the walkers? We do have for one single Spirit Link. But he needs a little bit more maybe. Going for the MK now. He's only level one. He has one Storm Bolt to use. After that, he's going to be dry. And he's looking for the walkers. He wants to get rid of the Spirit Link, rid of the Disenchant later on. And he levels up with this kill. But now a Peon's around. Again, we saw that, I think, yesterday or two days before, but the TP does save the MK. 
but that buys time for the orc, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, heavy losses for focus though. 38 versus 39, but there's a lot of castles remaining for Sorgs, two priests, and the Archmage did level quite a bit. Mountain King is level two as well, so is the Shadow Hunter, as you saw. But now he can go into his natural expansion, looking for the big mana potion, of course. Level three on the Blade Master, that should be crit level two, I think, in this state of the game. More walkers, more raiders, nothing in the uh, in the war mill yet. So what's Infi going to do from now? He didn't go to the base, he didn't keep him supply stuck. This is, uh, yeah, he did damage to the units, but not to the infrastructure of focus. And that's usually what you want to do as a human. Now he splits his Blade Master away from the Shadow Hunter to creep a little more. And yeah, it's good that Focus did not go for the natural because Infi expected him there. They're trading mercenary camps now. And of course, for the Orcs, there's a lot more good items. And as you know, Focus is married to Lady Luck. Watching for the Scourge Bone Chimes here. So you think he's Muslim since he has two wives? <laughs> well, maybe it is uh, the same girl. We have uh, Militia coming out again for Infi, heading north, expecting a fight, solo creeping the MK, and now he's level 3 and found a Zoe Mask. It's gonna start to rain hammers here on Amazonia. SH is hitting his level 3 as well. His item, however, was not as lucky, only getting the uh, Lion Horn of Stormwind here for a bit of additional armor. And seems like both players are trading creep camps at the moment. Is the Orc also gonna be heading for the Humans expansion, the Natural? Seems like he's not. He's heading towards the main. Is he maybe upgrading pillage? That nope. would be a typical orc feat to be going for now, but I no. I haven't seen that yet. Focus is going up to 50 food. What does it look for for Infi? Oh, he's going for the upgrades now, so no units to intercept here, which is pretty good. But there are no breakers. About okay, two, three breakers, you can deal with that. The shop is gone now, so production of breakers is not possible anymore. Good move by Focus. He doesn't have pillage, as you see, but he gets the farm, and so Infi is supply stuck. By the way, he has a TP here, so most likely he's going to wait for the human to come in yeah. and then TP out. Maybe Most look for a pick, few pickoffs before. No. Plays it safe, leaves right away. And I guess that's worth it. He killed three peasants, one farm, and one arcane vault for a TP. Mm -hmm. Resource-wise, that's pretty even. And it was a pretty cool move because he knew that the AM used the TP before, and it is not very unlikely that he will not be rebuying that right away. But now we're heading for the Orcs Natural, and a fight is going to break out here. Yeah, obviously that this was uh, to supposed to happen. No town portal on Infi. What's the item here? Big invul potion. Good, but not a mana potion, of course. But he has enough with the Brilliance Aura and the Sobi Mask, of course. Shadow Hunter has two more... Heal waves and the mana potion. Very smart uh, purchase by Focus, I think. Late Masters trying to deal with the breakers. Of course, they are the counter to the raiders, and so far, the spirit walkers, they are pretty damn safe. While well, the raiders are attacking the castles, especially the priests, they suffer so hard. Peons are coming into the fight with Spirit Link. Additional HP pool for that spell of the Blade Master Man, critting and killing the breakers off. So Infi is down to 34 supply focus, didn't lose a single unit in this fight, and the end snares are still flying, man. What's the MK doing? I haven't seen too many storm bolts just yet, and everything is falling for the Chinese. Incredible fight for focus. And yeah, that position was so bad for Infi to start the fight. Cast was completely caught out of position. I think three or four end snares hitting them right away, and the raiders finding their targets quickly. Usually it only happens against Night Elf, against Human, they're supposed to be all slowed and not be able to reach. But that was a horrible fight for Infian. Maybe a little bit... Well, that was a mistake, honestly, just going in that far. Now the Orc is pressing for, what, Late Master, almost level 4. Not that great of an inventory here, but still. MK is far up in front. Oh, that heal wave a little too late, so the Raider dies. Will it happen to the uh, Walker again? Yes, it does. Shop is coming up in the back, and of course, thanks to Spirit Link, the early stages of the fight will be very beneficial for Focus. Does he have enough time to get the shop up? That would be super important. Mountain King under pressure, but he still has the big invul. But where's the army here? He has one breaker, two sorks in the back. Where's the damage? Water elementals, I guess, but the last one's going to be falling right here. The AM is dry on mana. He is level 4, but it's going to take a while before he has more mana points. MK has the spirit link, by the way, so pretty damn tanky. Now we see the level 4 on the blade as well. He also has a heal scroll still to use. Oh, going for the AM. He has, has to no be potion. careful. Yeah, no potion, no invul, no TP. But he's stunning the blade master here, buying a little bit more time. AM, he doesn't have the gold for a TP. He used the heal potion right there, but now buying the TP and will be... Heading to safety behind his farms, I believe, but still taking so many losses. 33 supply only oh. left, even towers now coming up. Yeah, that is, of course, uh, 
ballsy move to do and a little show off because Infi killed him so often with towers and now he gets his revenge for that. Shop is down for Infi again. Mountain King super duper low. Blade Master is bloodthirsty obviously but he's taking care of the water elementals at first as he should and now the cast is all ensnared. Is he going for the hero kill? Where are the ensnares? Uh, flying on the priests and socks and that should be it man. It's GG go TM immediately calling it and that was one damn strong performance by this guy, by Focus. Yeah, and it seemed like Infi, he doesn't have the answers anymore. He told us before, doesn't know exactly what to do against Orc anymore. It's not like the tower rush is the end-all, be-all, as it was in the past. And especially that Creepjack that basically lost him the game. That was just a too risky thing to go for. I thought he was on even footing, maybe at a slight disadvantage. But exposing your th yourself in that way, first of all, the position was horrible. And second of all, he didn't have a TP. So, I don't know. That's not the infi that I was uh, hoping for and expecting. He uh, yeah, is not in tip-top shape, not currently. No, definitely not, especially versus Orc, so afraid of everything. And as you mentioned, no idea what to do. I mean, he doesn't have a second, uh, second answer to anything, or plan B or whatever. But maybe... He just doesn't like Amazonia versus Orc. I mean, we saw Orc Worker uh, killing him there. And this was a random draw of the remaining map, so maybe he was a little bit unlucky. Twisted Meadows will be great for him, I guess. It it's feels very comfortable. He's going to get level 2 right away, of course, with the uh, laboratory creep. Unless he's unlucky and gets the close positions. Um, but I mean, he gets it on Amazonia as well. Heading for level 3 is uh, not that easy, maybe. Uh, if he runs around the map, takes out the little gnolls and goes for simultaneous creeping with the militia, might be able to do that. Uh, yeah, this is usually the human's map choice, though. Twisted Meadows, yeah, it's not vetoes. I mean, it can be great um, item-wise for Focus, but he needs the time, and we don't know if Focus uh, will give him that time. I think your fantasy team is going to be pulling ahead of mine, to be honest. Probably. Unless uh, Foggy. Foggy Grand Final. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Rudan. If Rudan gets out of his group, I'm seriously losing my, but I have Rudan my too, shizzle. So yeah. doesn't help you too much. And Do we see, see the, the highlights again? Yeah, this was just too bad of a position. Just Cast is totally exposed. The three breakers not creating the front line that they're supposed to. One of them getting munched up by the Kodo Beast. And yeah, at that point, the fight is lost, and the game is most likely over right here. Yeah, true that. Um, the creep check was absolutely horrible. I don't know why Infi goes there without a town portal, without heal scrolls, without anything. I thought his natural was already crept, maybe. Uh, he could have gone there instead. Didn't do that, though. Um, by the way, do you think maybe the robot voice can have to do something with us, XSplit changing the audio? What do you mean, changing the audio? When we go from uh, 3 <coughs> to 1 to have the audio of the uh, Chinese stream clean feed thingy. Well, I didn't do that. Yeah, I, I know, but uh, after we did that, they said it was robot again. Okay. So uh, maybe we should try to not do that anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's fine now. All right, we have chat open right now, guys, so tell us if we're being robots still or if the sound is better, please. Yeah, by the way, uh, the issue with this, uh, with me being right and Remo being on the left, uh, that can't be changed until Thursday, I think. We're going to get a new piece of equipment to fix that. So for today and tomorrow, you have to live with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So they're saying uh, also when there's commercials playing and stuff. The one guy is saying. Uh, so is it robots? Still robots. Damn. That is, of course, not what we want. It's not fine. No. <laughs> Shit. We must upgrade the robots. <coughs> you were non-robotic for 30 seconds, though? Nice. Okay, yeah, maybe it stabilizes or something. Is someone on the Douyu stream and can check if it's the same on the Douyu stream? Maybe it's John fa uh, John's <laughs> fault. <laughs> John sabotaging the Twitch stream on purpose. Of course. Probably. That's the most likely reason. 
Switch places to fix left and right. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the lobby for the second game. Everyone's getting ready and we should be heading in. And oh, as if I was a wizard. The countdown is coming right here. You are, man. You are sometimes. This is going to be Infi's chance to draw even in this series and make it through as the first guy into the playoffs. Or is Focus going to be playing it up 2-0, heading into the playoffs without losing a single map? Let's see. We're heading into map number two. It's Focus versus Infi. Here we are again. And my transitions are becoming so great, man. I'm so happy about myself. Um, here we are. In the bottom left, we have the two-time world champion from 2014 and the winner of the first GCS in January this year. It is, of course, VG Infi. I right, agree. Doing the GSL camera here. That was pretty strong, man. <laughs> you practiced that? Actually, I'm Shit. just talented. All right. <laughs> And here he is, winner of TWL2, uh, playing for A1, former team member of Fnatic and, of course, Clan Go, a multiple, multiple Zotac and Jera Cup winner. He is Focus. Oh, that was way worse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, then. Twisted Meadows, Remo. Is it expansion play or what? Hmm. All right, if it's time of experience, it's going to be a tow rush. Yeah. Probably. Uh, starting position for Infi is pretty good. Focus is not close to the laboratory. So that's, of course, where Infi is going to go to for the big rock golem, for one of the best items, and, of course, the chance for a tomb of experience. Focus himself might... N what, what can he do? I mean, he's not that close to a shop. Usually, I think he would go for the trapper to gamble for a tomb of experience himself. But with that starting position, what can he do? Um... I think he's going to go for his Warden here at the Knolls. Uh, that should be doable with one Grunt. Of yeah. course, uh, if the human heads over there right away to harass, that can be really problematic, but that usually doesn't happen. No, like 99% no, no. like of the time, the human will be going for his laboratory. Sometimes even we have seen the Merc Camp, but yeah, most of the time it's going to be the lab and the AM. Just looking for the Scout. That's pretty cool. AM heading out, looking for a Peon to be there, but nope, nothing like that happening. And we have the uh, PM moving out right here to build the shop. Seen this quite a bit before from Focus. And yeah, that certainly signifies that he's going to be going for the Nulls. Going to be giving him almost level 2. And let's see, Infi's going to lose some Peasants. Yes, loses the first one. But it's pretty hard, honestly, to not lose anything. Total experience! experience. And what and is it? The item. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Rune Bracers. Yeah. But still a tome, fantastic. If this had been the old tome experience of 150, he would have only had to take this camp and boom level 3, and that was, was of course Imba, Imba, Imba. So he's gonna have to take two green camps to get level 3, but of course that is uh, not that hard to do, honestly. And then tower rushes become a real thing. Okay, this could be dangerous for Focus, as it is uh, the best early game that Infi could hope for. Well, except the item root braces, of course, is uh, what you want to sell. He positions a shop in the middle of the map, so that points towards more creeping or what? Um, I guess also quickly healing up uh, right after the first camp. <laughs> oh, I thought the footman actually Me got too, man. That was really <laughs> close. <laughs> that would have been catastrophic. Finding gloves of haste here and getting a lot of items, consumables, the double heal self and the uh, scroll of speed and not the uh, one burrow attack this time by the way we have two burrows coming up he wants to have more grunts early on to be able to contest his opponent i guess because of course tower rush always a possibility infi says the tower rush isn't the answer to everything anymore but if you have a quick level three of course it's going to be helping you quite a bit and now the blade master is taking out the gnolls here on the human side but that might uh, yeah expose him to a bit of aggression coming his way because already we can see the footies heading into the orcs main right now. Yeah, it's not too much to cancel, but the base is open so he can go for the peons. Will he have the time to kill the overseer? Yeah, I think so, but that takes so much time of a focus. Uh, the next grunt sees it, so okay. Peons get ready to get into the burrows that will buy him some, uh, uh, some, some harvesting time and some gold gathering time. Well, he surrounds the borough really well done. Really hard for the peons so now good. to repair. 
in the water elementals. He has quite a bit of mana here. He's going to have another water elemental in a second. Blade Master buying the boots of speed from the shop, not the telly staff. So it's going to take a while longer for him to get back home to defend. And did focus opt for too much creeping here. He could have taken this green camp instead and then had ha would have had level two anyways. But no, he was greedy and wanted to go for the item and the knolls of his opponent. And he didn't even prevent level 3 AM with this. And maybe he's thinking, you damn lucky bastard, if you hadn't gotten the Tome experience, you would not be level 3 right now. <laughs> That's right. But you always have to calculate that in that it's a possibility that you face this. And now he's killing the second bow. The Shadow Hunter will be so oh delayed. And so many resources will go into rebuilding oh. the two um, the two Orc Burrows. He's so he lost both. And since the Footman are still in the base and the Archmage still oh, will have some mana soon. He can pressure and he can delay everything. Oh my god. He's trying to get them up again, but they will only be cancelled. Ooh, that was cr uh, close. I thought he would uh, lose it without cancelling it. But yeah, he's trying to get them back up, but no way, Jose. Tongue of experience, boys. Tongue of experience. Archmage now dropping very low. He could have blocked with the peons. Again. Speech scroll being used to, f yeah, to try to surround him, but that was a little... Uh, Little slippy oh, and he gets focus. it again. He gets it again. I don't even know if it was cancelled or it was killed. He has only 34 lumber right now. This is looking like the 1 1. I think it takes until next year before he has the tier 2 buildings up. Holy shit. I can't produce anything, of course, for the longest time. Oh, and the footman <laughs> and three footmen still doing the damage. And it is enough. You can't cancel it with three footmen. Oh my Disaster God. for folks. There's a borrow coming up here, I guess. But the thing is, after that, he's still gonna be supply blocked in the AM. Yeah. Speedy Wizard heading across with the boots of speed. He's healing up. He's clarityying up, and he's gonna have more water elementals. We have the lumber, mill, uh, the war mill coming up. Of course, that doesn't cost any lumber. But <laughs> the here he is again. Rage, man. Hello, water elemental. Goodbye, burrows. Uh, is it enough? Yeah, it should be enough. He cannot kill it before, it's too strong. It's almost 700 HP. Oh, Blade Master Fang, the Archmage! No! Oh, forcing the Town Pole, the Windwalk was really close. But what's it worth if you force a Town Pole if you still can't produce any units? Level on the Blade Master is good, but oh, he has one more up, by the way, but <laughs> they find it again. I don't think it's gonna be enough damage, though, is no, it? No, no, no. The Grunts take care of the Water Mantle, so that's okay. But so in the human main, yeah, we have. Lumber Mill. Only Mountain King, Sanctum. Pretty late is the Sanctum though. Okay. Uh, uh, Archmage shield up. Now. Oh, he goes for a oh mana oh. potion. He's, He's gonna, gonna get him, right? A lot of Windwalks, man. Can he get to the shop or something? Next backstab. Will he invest another Windwalk? He's not. Okay, yeah. use the potion now. Does he have. Yeah, okay. Mountain King is there to heal. Yeah. Good idea by Focus. A uh, little Hail Mary attempt though. He's finally gonna be able to produce this second hero here with a Borrow coming up. Oh, he's losing the peon, and actually, that's also painful. He's very low on lumber now, and he needs this income. And they are finally <laughs> Shadow Hunter. But it's so late. And we're still not at the tier 2 building. Yeah, the latest Shadow, uh, Shadow Hunter of all time. Oh, nice block from these footies. Yeah, pretty good by Infi. Oh, wow. Maybe he's getting into wow. the zone now. It Are you was serious? So good. But okay, this should be it. Yeah, yeah this footman is going to die, but. Our player's forces are under attack. Okay. How many grants does he have? He has three, right? Mm hmm. One of them super hurt though, and will not be able to defend. If he's coming now, pulling the militias a little late with double arcane sanctum and one ivory tower, there won't be raiders, there won't be walkers, there won't be yeah catapults maybe if he has the time, but he needs to get a burrow up first, and you can easily spawn the water elemental, and uh, yeah should be enough. Then this burrow is completely exposed in the upper right, so it can easily be killed. He needs to get a hero kill fast with Hex and Blade Master, but he has only one Windwalk. He bought a potion before. He's going for the AM soon. Nice Hex on the Mountain King. Better if the first Zork. We have the slow to control as well as the Borrow, uh, as well as the Bolt now. Grants are still healing up. Uh, so he can fight these Militia, I guess. Blade Master still on the chase in the back line. AM though is at half HP. We have the first Priest now. He's gonna be healing him. And 40 supply versus only 30. And someone's honking like crazy outside. Yeah. We have a bestiary coming up finally in the back. 
But it's just gonna be a while before we have any units coming. Finally, the next Boro finishes, and now he can produce units again. Demolish her right away. Yeah, and the Beast 3 is coming up as well. Can Focus hold on? That would be a miracle! Because the barracks, man, can he repair against that? Still two water elementals. The third one is about to come up. Okay, one is dead, but the first guard tower is up. And what a position it is, attacking the peons in the peon line. Blade Master has to be the carry, but the inventory is looking pretty bad for him. I don't know what he can do here, honestly. This is catastrophic going for the MK, but the bolt has to be eaten. And a lot of damage coming out. Speed scroll, something to save him. Arcane Sentry almost saw him. Demolisher is now out, but he... He will be sniped immediately, I think, a lot the more, yeah. And this this first tower, you said it's really cool against the peons. Yeah, and super protected as well, you can't attack it. Yeah. Well, he can with the catapult, but he wants to attack everything, especially the workers, so he has to attack ground, that makes him a little weaker. And the next Boro yep. is dead. Say goodbye to protect, uh, production. Yeah, I don't know. This one, honestly, is pretty over. Maybe he's thinking about the next map. So much stuff for NP. 45 food, 40 for focus, but that's not really a uh, supply that you can fight with. And everything is dropping here. It's just a matter of time until he can't repair the barracks anymore. He's giving it up already. He has two of the catapults. And does he have a shop there somewhere? No, okay, he can't get clarity. He can't get heal selves. This is way too much. Blade Master, Swirl Speed might not save him. He's nope. dead! And that's the GG. Wow! Easy Katka for Infi. Yep. Tone of experience. Look how happy he is. <laughs> <laughs> Overjoyed. Yes. Can't contain himself. Alright. 1-1. One, one. So one map to decide who is going into the playoffs, either Infi or Focus. And both were actually pretty strong. Now that's going to be the Orcs map choice, so it's not going to be as easy for the AM to hit an early level 3 at Twisted Meadows with Tome Experience. By far the easiest way to get there. Amazonia also actually pretty easy map for level 3, all things considered for the human. Those two are oh, oops, out already. <laughs> I don't think we saw it because we have a little bar. I was just yeah. flipping the cord here. And maybe that's going to fix the sound, hopefully. Anyways, um, where does he go next? Where does Focus want to go? Echo Isles, maybe. Echo Isles would be good, but also way to cheese there a bit for Infi. But Infi is not the cheese guy. Um, hmm. Yeah, good question, man. What do we have? Terranas? You don't want that? <coughs> Alright, we're still looking at chat here about the sound, but seems like it unfortunately did not get better. Yeah, Terranus, um we rarely see that in this matchup, right? Echo Isles it is. Echo Isles. All right. We have seen some pretty impressive uh, expansion attempts with the Triple Sanctum coming up and then suddenly Human rolling over the Orc. But we have also seen some expansions getting cancelled a lot with just one single grunt, Blade Master with two items running over and uh, beating the crap out of the expo has to be cancelled because so many resources delays everything by so much or it doesn't even have to counter expand too early but I guess we'll be going into that more once we actually start the game focus is in the lobby and Infi will be coming in a second as well maybe looking at the replay but this was really straightforward get level 3 harass the boros kill them and then come back with a tower rush and the orc has nothing to do about it oh apparently the sound is fixed let's see how long this goes because I think when I switch a scene, then it gets better for a bit, and w when I switch back, it gets worse, but... Okay, maybe <laughs> maybe it is a Wackelkontakt. I just still don't know the English word. Faulty contact. Faulty contact somewhere. But it's it's when you change the scene? I think so. Neil still sounds super quiet and far away. Maybe you're... Uh, right box is broken. Uh, speaker is broken. Hmm. Okay, cool. I won't le I won't move anything. I will st uh, sit here as I'm fr uh, frozen or something. But yeah, that is the last breath for focus here. No chance apparently. So Aquiles, I think 
comes down to the items a lot. This is gonna be yeah, and the creeping of course. How fast can focus creep up? How much time will Infi give him? Yeah, well also uh, I think uh, the decision to go for expansion or not, because it seems like when the org does it right, there's just no way you can get the expo up the first time. I mean, you get it up in the end, of course, but the first attempt will be cancelled, and again, that is so extremely expensive. And isn't that a little too much damage? We saw, was it Yumiko playing MK fast expansion? Sounds like Yumiko, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And when you do that, there's just almost no way to cancel uh, the org counter expansion. But I think Infi, he's not a MK player anymore against Orc. He wants to go for the AM. And he's made be a little uh, a little bit of finesse might be coming out of Infi. His Archmage movement with Boots of Speed and the Tele Staff is oftentimes very, very elusive, mm -hmm. very, very uh, effective. So if he delays the Orc counter expansion, if it comes to an expansion versus expansion game, it's going to be very powerful for him in the later stages with a Triple Sanctum. Here we go, everybody. Once again, game number three, Focus versus Infi, Orc versus Human. One map for the playoffs. As we mentioned before, Focus seems to be very sleepy. Infi, Focus just always, no pun intended. And it comes down to Echo Isles, as it always is the third map. Well, not always, but most of the time. Oh, those transitions, man. So smooth, right? Those As transitions. Silk transitions. Oh, my God. Seems like we're professionals. <laughs> All right, Echo Isles. It's going to be up to Infi. What does he do? He's going to be dictating where this game goes. Is this going to be a fast expansion, a one base play, or are we going to see a tower rush? Oh, yeah, I, th I think I said this so much, br uh, the broken record again, but I would love to see Triple Sanctum here and Focus's attempt to break this. But of course for that, you need an expansion, and it's not that easy. If Focus predicts it and attacks immediately, very hard to hold, but possible so yeah infi of course one of the players that knows how to uh, play an expansion because he always does it against uh, night owl versus human and most of the time in human mirror i think so versus orc of course a lot harder to do but as altar is positioned south yeah. so that points towards an instant expansion we don't really see the merc camp creep anymore because you also can take a lot of damage from there but for that, the Orc usually has to scout and predict where the human is going, and Focus, he doesn't decide to scout. If you want to go for the one borrow tech, you really need all the lumber income you can get. And so he's going to have to predict himself, mm -hmm. but it seems like his bet will be right. Because imagine if the Blade Master takes out the first ogre here, then goes towards the marketplace, buys an item, and then goes to the natural, and then, oh, you're not here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's a lot of wasted time. <laughs> But so far, it would seem that his money is going to be right as far as his bet is concerned. Let's see. Okay, heroes are about to pop out of the altar. And then the game starts and it gives us a new direction of where the game is going. We have four, five, six, seven workers. That is normal. So no indications for an expansion just yet. He goes out. He goes south with the Archmage. One, two, three, four, five. This is an expansion, right? Yep. Whoa, that's going to be good, guys. That's going to be real good. I said this is imbalanced. This is unbreakable because the timings for the Orc are so weird and we haven't seen the perfect answer for it. It is a ring for focus, of course. Bad start. That's actually really bad because with two good items, you can kill the Expo. If you find the ring, I'm not so sure you can. Yeah. Well, you can stay a little longer. Surf of ability for Infi, that is of course great. And yeah, maybe he goes for the Murlocs, and if he gets a Tomb of Experience again, that would be a disaster for Focus. But all right, Grunt is scouting it now, and he will see that uh, the army is down south. A town is under and he's going there, is he? He's wasting a little time, I think, with his movement. Oh, nice. Footman is already in the base, harassing and reducing the amount of lumber. Focus is not microing this at all. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He wasn't really doing anything else. Okay, losing the peon there, that's not great. Auto mental in the middle, trying to scout out, seeing if a creep camp is happening there. Not the case. Lasset goes towards the late master, buying the circle of nobility and keeping the ring of protection. He could have been at the expansion a lot earlier though. Mm -hmm. He ran south, ran over. He could have had it right over a lot quicker, also deciding to kill the trapper before, but now he's not going for the expo kill, he's going for the peasants. So he's gonna get a lot of damage done, but I don't think the expo is gonna fall. 
Nicely done by Infi, saving that Passants, man. Oh, yeah. the second one as well. Glorious Micro, well, as he always does, saving these Passants uh, right next to the tree so the Blade Master can attack. And now he's stuck. Ooh, the oh Grunt is boy. surrounded. Yeah, and the Grunt, yeah, he's surrounded there. Watch Elemental attacks him. He gets this one Passant, but this Raz is not what he was looking for. Never you lose a Grunt in the early game, they say. And once again, it, uh, pr it is true. Blade Master super low, only level one. This expansion will come up immediately. And now, what's his answer to this? Get level two with one more peasant kill. I think in total there was four peasants killed, so it certainly hurts. But still, the expo comes up, and we've seen this expo get cancelled. I'm saying this again a lot recently, but not this time, and that already worries me for focus. Archmage has the boots, so Blade Master has to take a long, long time to get home or to the shop. Another grunt, yeah, he's keeping taps of Infi, but he knows where he has to attack. Just has to be aware that the human is not attacking his base and cancelling the burrows once again. Tech is done. So, he has like three choices now, um, or four. Go for a tower rush. <laughs> that is not possible because there is no war mill. With serpent wards, maybe that could work. Um, stay on tier two and try to push. Stay on tier two and try to expand or go to tier three. All of those options, incredibly hard to pull off. And if he goes for the tier 2 expansion, the likelihood is not very low that the AM will be cancelling it. I Oh, I thought he would be buying the Tele Staff already. Not just yet, though. Blade Master finding the greater mana can be really good for the SH. Oh, getting the heat self cancelled. Did he scout Infi's main with the Grunt? I'm not sure. I think so. And he sees that there's no tower. And there's no uh, Lumber Mill just yet. So an early Wyvern would be amazing here. That's true, but I also think with the map control he has right now, with Grunt's SH, and if he goes for Raider Walker, this map is going to belong entirely to him. And with the Wyvern, that's not as strong of a support. And it's kind of a gamble again, right, going for uh, the Wyvern. You, there could be a, a war mill coming up, a lumber mill coming up with the power build right now. So I think that will be a little risky. Okay. Archmage found the ring plus three at the Merc camp, but that means, of course, it'd be as Berserkers now. Damage boost, but he loses the, tra uh, the Shadow Priest, so that was not too good. And it is Raiders. No Wyvern. He liked to play that, but it was figured out pretty early on by the humans how to counter that. Infi was super greedy, though. Now he's going for the tower. Now he's going for the Lumber Mill, so... I think the timing still would have been good for focus, but of course you want the Raiders, you want Ensnare, you want to try to go for the hero kills, but Infi is creep checking here now, and the Blade Master is super low on mana, he wants this experience! Okay, and he gets it. At least the first one, but the Shadow Hunter is dropping so low. Will he try to go with the Hex and focus? Yes he does, but it's only the Blade Master doing damage and no crit just yet! Archman is stuck though. Or is he? Yeah, he is. Reveal being used, though. Blade Master has to leave. He can't go for the backstab. Uh -oh. Shadow Hunter is super low as well. And the Grunts might be stuck. Mm -hmm. if, if he realizes, a little he too late. He can't stay in there longer, man. But he does. One Grunt, maybe. Oh, he survives this. If there's a block coming, no hexes him. So there's no block, and he might be able to kill him. Nice save by Focus here. But he needs to get back. He needs to heal up on all costs. That was pretty cool by Infi. I mean, he doesn't really get any pickoffs here, but he keeps the orc from creeping. And this is a very, very slim timing. There were no raiders with Ensnare yet. There was no spirit link yet. He had like 30 seconds here to delay, and that's what he did. Yeah. But now we do have the raiders. Now we do have the walker. So now everything becomes a lot tougher for the orc. And he needs to get an expo up soonish. I would like to see him go for tier 3. That way you have a reliable expo. But, of course, it's going to be a lot more expensive as well. Yeah, Infi is already scouting for that with an Archmage, uh, looking into the entire main base. Okay, what's up? What are you doing? What do I have to prepare for? And he knows what's going on. Next attack for Focus. He has healed up. The Walker is in. But there's a tower already, and the Archmage in the perfect position there. Protected from basically everything. And he can't spawn the Water Elemental. He wants to. With the Guard Tower, you can't really dive in there. Maybe kill the shop. But the main base is not exposed as well. Oh, he cancelled uh, the building immediately as he saw that focus is near. He's going to get two militia kills here if he invests the ensnare, which he will. But uh, he's still the thing is, there's no expo. Yeah. And we have a footy scouting for this. And he's not doing any damage. I mean, he gets a few militia, but that's not really what you want to do. You want to break the expansion, you want to kill peasants, you want to delay the economy. Or oh, if you could get the MK here, the altar before the MK. No, I no, mean, no, 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 no,
But he is level 3 now, level 2 for the Shadowhunter, that is at least Heal Wave. And the Altar of Kings is gone, that means he can enter the base and kill more peasants. This Grunt, though! Heal Wave, last second. Oh, he's committing really hard here, Yeah, man. Town Portal by Infi, he has to counter TP, does he have one? No, he doesn't! Speed Scroll, also not! What is Focus doing here? <laughs> what? Oh boy, there are no casters though, can yeah. he block the Blade Master? Okay, Wind Walk. No slow yet. Good so analysis by, by Focus that he can do that. And we have one Sanctum now up, but he needs more, of course. Yeah, one Sanctum at the expansion and the shop as well. Doesn't have the lumber for it. Oh, there's peons! Towers? Whoa, or is it just support? He's totally playing without an expansion. If he can trade favorably, like all the time, and you can get a massive hero advantage, then you can play one base versus two. But that's really dangerous. You have to get a big advantage right now. Okay, he can get the Sanctum. The three Raiders are so incredibly important. He has Pillage as well. He gets a lot of resources from those attacks. And there's Lightning Shield! How long can the Blade Master survive there? He's doing tons and tons of damage. He's putting up the shop. How much damage can Infi do to him? And how long can the Blade Master stay in there? Oh, the Lightning Shield is so strong. Wow! Strong. We have Ethereal Walker with Lightning Shield. He can't do <laughs> anything to him. Well, actually, the Stormhold finishes him off, but I haven't seen that before. I don't think. Cool move. But Focus now taking quite a few losses. One Walker dead, one Raider dead, and he needs to be trading way favorably here to stay in this game, to have a chance with one base against two. The Sanctum is still up, the sl slows are coming out from the sources, and he has no speed scroll here to get out. He's gonna lose the last of his Walkers, and these Raiders, I don't think they can do this by themselves, and I think I was right to trust in the Iceman. Yeah, the next uh, Walker is coming, though. The shop cancel for the third time. All the peons super low. He needs more of them. Was this the all-in attack from Focus? More raiders are coming. He has a war mill now far in the back, so maybe he wanted to go for a tower push, but the start wasn't too good at all. I think he can go for the main base now. He healed up. He used all of his selves trying... Oh, big mana at the marketplace. That could turn things around if he somehow gets to level 3. But now the sorcerers are... Up. Out. That is, of course, a big damage mitigation. But this sanctum is going to be falling by the looks of it. We have uh, the damage amplification now. TP coming in. Is it going to be offensive? Yes, it is! Very confident. But now the AM in trouble. But he has a lot of items here to keep himself alive with. He knew this focus was coming if the TP was uh, uh, offensive. And this is just too small of an army, man. Focus doesn't have enough. Losing one raider. Losing two raiders. Only getting a footy in return. And this game seems to be slipping away from his grasp. The militia is still with long duration left over the blade master taking a lot of damage. He doesn't have a wind walk. The heal wave will be there. He used the greater mana already, but only for the level 1 heal wave this all seems to be. Falling apart as everything is dropping low. One more raider and two more raiders will be dead in a second. And Focus has barely anything left. I think this one's over. He's not wanting to admit it just yet. But there's just too much human stuff here. Now the SH might be in trouble. Finally he's level 3. The Blade Master to the north has to escape with the Windwalk and will be able to surround do so. Yeah, but on the surround. Shadow Hunter. GG by Focus and he drops out of the winner bracket down to the lowest bracket and Infi, who would have thought that he comes out on top of his group? I didn't personally. I told oh, you. He is. Yeah. Lan Infi, don't underestimate. He has been here so many times. He has so much experience and he can turn on the heat. And he showed it right there. Played it through very clean. Not the most beautiful game on Twisted, pretty straightforward game yeah. on Echo Isles. It wasn't very flashy, but it was really well done. No mistakes, or barely any, and with this, he gets to the playoffs. Our first player yeah, to make first it first player is a human player from China. No, uh, yeah, no big surprise to have one of them in there. And the second player could also be a Chinese human player, as Romantic is still waiting uh, for his chance to advance. He will face focus now. This group contests of human versus orc entirely. Yep. Pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> Way to kill the hype. Now, Romantic is so confident. I really wonder yeah. um, why. I mean, yeah, I also think this confidence might be a little misplaced, to be honest. He yeah. lost to focus 2-0 before. But he's a pretty patriotic guy, as most Chinese are, honestly. He said he definitely doesn't want to play against... Uh, Chinese player and have to kick him out. He wants to take the glory and take the victory for his country. He wants to kick out the Korean. So he's very motivated. Is that going to be enough though? We're going to find that out right after with our next series starting, don't know when exactly, but soon. According to the schedule, we have 15 more minutes. 
and I think it should be something like that. Yeah, we have a few new subscribers. Thank you, everybody uh, who are supporting us. Of course, uh, we don't have the opportunity to see who is doing all that, but we know we feel the support from you guys. Yeah, Infi playing super confident here on Echo Isles. I think there wasn't a single second where he was struggling with this match or where he thought that Focus has the upper end. Mm. He was always first at the shop. He was always there when he was needed. Never took any big losses. And I love how he uh, saved his peons there and how he built the the town hall to save the peons during the first attack. And here, yeah, he tried with lightning shield. It was a very cool idea, but it didn't really work out in the end. <sighs> All right. Yeah, guys, we are aware that the stream has some issues, some stutters. We're trying to get it fixed as best we can, but unfortunately, this is not only up to us, it's also up to the Douyu servers and stuff. Yeah, this was k kind of the last attempt here to get the shop up. If he gets the shop up, he has more heal selves, and then he can try to go for another attack, but at this very point, the damage wasn't too high. One more raider, I think, and this could have worked, but Infi always had the money for the town portal. And that's why, yeah, very aggressive TP, one Hail Mary attempt for the Archmage, but as you mentioned before, Heal Scroll and Heal Potion, as well as an Invu Potion, so no way to kill him. Mountain King is too tanky for that. The, the Militia Support immediately finds the Raiders. And yeah, everything was gone from there. The Kodo couldn't eat, or didn't eat, I don't know why. And yeah, we will continue with Romantic versus Focus. Will he be strong enough mentally to overcome this loss? I mean, I think he expected to win, since his matchup versus Human was always g uh, great in the past few weeks. But can you expect to win against Infi? Always hard to tell. I think he still believes that he is the superior player to Romantic, which I don't necessarily disagree with. Okay, we will go into a break. We will be back with the Losers' Finals. Who's the player number two to advance? We're going to hear uh, see about that. 